Viewer discretion is advised. For just a slice of pizza a day, you too could help this man. Won't you help? What are you doing? Oh, hey, honey. Nothing, just waiting for you. What? We gonna have dinner? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on a Thanksgiving casserole. Cas awesome. Casserole, I'm in. Let's do it. Something's definitely up. Baby, nothing's up. Mm-hmm. I think you're full of shit. I do smell something. All right, first things first, what are we doing to get this going? Half a cup of quinoa, half a cup of black rice. Black rice? Yeah, it's really good. It's really nice and hearty. Is it better than brown rice? I think it's better for you. Um, I think there's more nutrition to it, but it really tastes much better. If you put white rice and black rice and brown rice in the, in the cupboard, would you hear like fighting in the middle of the night? No, I think they would coexist peacefully. That's what it's all about. So this is the dinner you're making me? Uh, it's for your mother. What the hell am I going to eat? Wait for your donations. Oh, such bullshit. Okay, a silpat. Stuff's about to get serious. What are we doing? All right, we're doing some roasted sweet potatoes with some syrup and some oil. Okay, so show me what we're doing. All right, so we normally don't use a lot of oil in our cooking. This is a holiday recipe. Uh, we're so we're going to splurge. It, yeah, well, it's barely a splurge. I wouldn't even call it a splurge. So this is one large sweet potato, cubed. Just get your oil, and then one... Now, what, what's the difference? Sorry, I'm sorry. One what? I mean, one it. tablespoon of real maple syrup. Don't okay. use the sugar water stuff. So no, like, Aunt Jemima, log cabin, you know what? If you're high fructose this, crap. Yeah, just make it the right way. Now let me ask you real quick before we go too much further. What's the difference between sweet potatoes and yams? Because oh, sometimes you pick them up. Now, when I was growing up, yams made us laugh because people were like, hey, just go kick them in the yam bag. And it was a <laughs> euphemism. <laughs> euphemism for, for... I got it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know the difference. I've looked it up a hundred times. So basically, you want to get sweet potatoes. You don't want to go buy yam bags. It doesn't matter. I, rang, I bought sweet potatoes, and it rang up in the register as yams. But okay. the sign said sweet potatoes. You know what? I don't think it's that much of a difference. If you really want to know, you got the Google. Right, yes, so, Google is your friend. So Stay away from the yam bags. <laughs> lay these out on the tray, and it's going to go in the oven for about 30 minutes, 425. You have to watch these. You don't want them to burn. If your oven is like mine, it doesn't work right and parts will get black and parts are not cooked. Just keep an eye on them because they don't want to get black. You just need to roast them so they're a little bit brown. Should I turn this around? I would. We just had the glass replaced. <laughs> All right. And how long are we going to cook that for? Uh, 30 minutes, 425. Definitely keep checking them. Roast your yam bags. All right, I heard some beeping before, whatever. Did those potatoes get done, or? Yep, the potatoes are done. They're roasted. Okay. They're right over here. All right. Waiting. So we're going to start with about a tablespoon of olive oil. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do saute of um, onions and garlic. You don't need to use oil. You can use a nonstick pan, but we need to have flavor in this casserole. You're going to serve it to your family and friends. Uh, everybody knows we like to keep it low oil. And you don't want them thinking that eating healthy is like eating straw. Right. We want them to make it, to, to enjoy it. I oh, love that sound. All right. So about a cup and a half of onion. This is a white onion. You could use yellow. I wouldn't use red onion, so. Why not? I don't know. Just like to, when I do my casseroles, I like white or yellow onion. Red onion, I like it raw. So mm -hmm. that's got to get chopped up. So it's just a rough chop. It's not really a dice. Um, Love that sound. That's about four cloves of garlic. This is kind of a big casserole, so don't be afraid to put a lot of garlic. Don't burn the garlic. Make sure it's on medium heat. This is going to take about 10 minutes. You want to get the onions um, golden, softer, but not caramelized. You just don't want them to be crunchy. You just want them to be cooked through and a little golden. So 
So what are we going to do for 10 minutes? You're going to make yourself useful and do something productive, just like always. And you I'm going to make, watch the onions. You want to go make out? I'm doing the onions. <sighs> hey, why don't you do my onions? Nah, never mind. All right, so it's been about, what, 10 minutes? And hey, someone's onions got played with. That's right. These onions are looking good. Uh, you want a little color on them. They're not going to be crunchy, but they're not caramelized. And it smells so good. And you have to keep it on medium. You do not want the garlic to burn. As I said, if you burn the garlic, it's you ruined it. Fresh herbs. This is the time of year to get fresh herbs. This is two teaspoons of sage and one teaspoon of rosemary. Oh, very thanksgiving -ingly. Yes, it's, oh, the smell of this is so amazing. You just want to get these incorporated, cook them down a tiny bit. Uh, just hit the heat, nice. I smell it, wow. Yep. A little bit of salt. That was probably not even half a teaspoon. You got to explain it because there's the people out there. Where's the recipe? Check the description box with all of our videos. You'll find the recipe. Right. That was fresh ground pepper. And that was a pepper mill I got a couple of months ago. I think it's awesome. Yep. Fresh ground pepper is the best. You can't use that crap from the container. All right. So what else goes in here? All right. So this is going to just chill for a few. And we're going to add the rice and the sweet potatoes. Get everything incorporated. Do I have time to use the bathroom? Go ahead. I'll remember to shut the camera off this time. Please. Whew. Nothing like clearing oneself. So anyway, what are we doing now? Okay, now we're going to add the quinoa, mm -hmm. which takes about 15 minutes to cook. Now, is quinoa, quinoa ever pronounced quinoa? No, it's quinoa. Oh. I think people know how to say it now. It's kind of a common thing now. Maybe two years ago it wasn't. All right, so that's the quinoa. And this is the black rice, which took about 40 minutes to cook. So you can definitely do this in the morning and just set it aside. So it's not too much work when you do the casserole. So basically the quinoa is very easy to cook and the black rice, well, it's going to be done when it damn well pleases. Yeah. And you always have to add more water than the package says. Oh wait, that's even with brown rice too. Yep. So this looks beautiful on its own. If you just really wanted does. to serve this, this is amazing. It does look good. Um, it looks like the wild rice in a package my mom used to feed us when I was a kid. Yep, I think there's black rice in wild rice. I could be wrong, but I think so. Okay. I wonder if like all other rices like are afraid of wild rice because it's gonna go where no other rice goes before. Maybe. Anyway, what's that? That's the sweet potatoes okay. that we did earlier. Oh, that looks the awesome. The maple, maple roasted sweet potatoes. It looks like a jack-o'-lantern owed you money and you brained him. Ha! <laughs> this, you could eat this as is, but I like to bake it with a little more syrup and then um, put a little walnuts on the top. Pay off, bitch. I love being in my head, sorry. That looks awesome. All right, so what happens now? All right, so this is all mixed and we're going to get it into a casserole dish. Ah. And that's going to take a few minutes. I don't know if you want to stay the whole time. People are probably going to get a little bored. Yeah, I'm going to go play with Troy. All right, come back in a minute. All right, so through the magic of, well, YouTube, everything is in the casserole dish. So what do we do now? All we do is take a very, very, very small drizzle of maple syrup just to give it that extra flavor. If I was doing this, it would be a very liberal drizzle well, of maple you syrup. you know, you don't want it to taste like pancakes, but... Um, Everything should taste like pancakes. <laughs> also, you probably would like to um, add a little more salt. We use very little salt when we cook. Right. Most people like salt, so you can add a little bit more salt. All right, so now what do we do? We're going to put foil on it and pop it in the oven, 350 for about a half hour. All right, foil that bitch. We are foiled and ready to go. So what are we going to do now? In the oven, 350 for about 30 minutes. You just want to heat everything through. You already said that. I'm not stupid. Wait, how, how, how long? Mm -hmm. 30 minutes. Okay, let's do it. All right, so we're here with my mom, our resident guinea pig. And we don't say that because she's Italian, but because we make a taste a bunch of stuff. So, Ma, how are you doing? Good. All right. How are you doing, Troy, boy? So everyone, this is Troy, my, my little brother. So anyway, what we have for you today is a sweet potato and black rice, quinoa, casserole. We're not quite sure what we're calling it yet, mm -hmm. but right in time for Thanksgiving, it's got all the flavors, all the smells of Thanksgiving. Why don't you try and let me know what you think?
like it. Yeah, sweet really? Sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes, but the rice combination or whatever, everything really blends in well. You're not just saying that because I'm your most handsome you son, remember right? one of the pro programs I did when I tasted the food, how I felt? Oh, Rob, you made this on, on your cooking show? <laughs> Mom, what the f Oh, God. What's the matter with you? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, listen, we do a lot of recipes, so why don't you check out more videos on Life with Rob Brazius, and when you make these recipes, why don't you snap a picture of it and throw it on our Facebook site, Life with Rob Brazius on Facebook. I'm Rob. I'm Maria. And this is Troy Boy. We'll see you guys next time.